Photo Raphael right now. Photo Raphael, so um, this is my first ever sponsor. And uh, Mr. Latif, he showed me a lot of love. I had nothing to bring to the table and he, one day I just told him about my story and stuff and I'm boxing, I'm making my debut at Yoko and he was intrigued and he just told me to bring him like a proposal and I came with a proposal. He looked at it, then he asked me a few questions and then he introduced me to everybody in the hotel and said, everything here is yours, you can use it. So out of like, um, just for, um, just show thanks, I always put him on, if you check my fight gear all the time, you'll always see Hotel Raphael and just kind of show my, um, give my thanks and show my loyalty as well. So right now we're heading to the Peacock Gym in Canning Town. And we're gonna go and uh, meet up with Mark Tibbs, my, my boxing trainer, and we're gonna do some sharpening up. He's, he's taught me a lot of a lot of things that I didn't really understand, like it's like more of the concept of boxing. And I think a lot of fighters they don't they don't really know the fundamentals, and it's like it was it kind of built me, he broke me down and built me again from the ground up, and that's why I think I've been obviously getting the results that I want, competing um, as I have done so far. So, you know, I think it's I think it's good. I think it's good we break it down, keep it nice, nice and simple. What we tend to do is complicate things once we watch some fighters on, on the net. Mayweather's and the Leonard's and the Mike Tyson's. We want to just copy their, their style and try and, and throw the similar punches, but everybody's different. Everybody has different reach, um, different reaches um, and obviously different kind of uh, attributes so it's all about just finding what works for you. So wh whilst um, Mark Tibbs was in Saudi we got this uh, Hall of Famer to replace him, that was um, Jimmy Tibbs, the infamous <laughs> Jimmy Tibbs and I loved, I loved um, training with him for that week because he's like really old school and like, takes it back. Like, I throw one punch, he's like, stop, what is that? You can't be doing that, this is what's gonna happen if you throw this shot. And it's like, it makes sense, it's true. And me, I'm, I'm fine with um, criti um, being, um, being criticized and stuff because I know it's only to benefit me and it's only for my, my well-being, for me to, to be successful when I compete. So I'm, I'm fine with that, you know, but he's like, he's really passionate. He's really passionate, he's really old school, and it's like, it's militant, he's training. It's like, once he comes, once once I get to the gym, he's outside the gym waiting, <laughs> looking up and down, just waiting, like, okay, that's him, that's him. You're late, son, that's him. Like, you have to be here at least 10, 10 to, like, he's proper militant. But I like that because it just, it brings back the seriousness, you know, because at the end of the day, boxing is not a joke. You know, boxing's not a joke. Boxing is pretty serious, so it should be treated as such. Josh Denzel here outside Peacock's gym in London, and we're about to spend a day in the life of Richard Reckbull before his huge British title clash on the 19th of December. Let's go take a look. Gym life. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what you're up to in it. Surely taking the tape off the skin is horrible. No, that's not bad. I thought it would be, but obviously you sweat, your hand sweats and you just can't shit off. Just... You would think, you would think yeah. so, wouldn't you? Why? It's like, um, I used to always think about hairs being ripped off yeah, yeah. the skin, but it's not like that. You've been taking the plaster off after a bit, it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. 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 I'm just careful the way I rep. I don't really have too much hair. Oh, yeah. Is this when you broke it? Or is this just... Uh, yeah, I did break it. I did break it. No time. Is this the difference? Look at this. That's embarrassing. Got like... Charles <laughs> and his next to it. Exactly. Yeah, clever. I said, I know I wasn't... I meant to be talking, not fighting. That's me. <laughs> That's what I know. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
just got I've just got fat palms and they've got some sharp knuckles. Yeah. You know the ones where you jab and they're really cut. <laughs> <laughs> you just gassing me up now, isn't it? <laughs> So Richard with Mark doing pads now in the ring. He's looking very sharp, spearing jab, big right hand. These are going to be the tools he's going to be using on the 19. You train twice a day or just once? What's normal? Twice. Twice a day. Now looking at the spider, it's just taking it easy. Yeah. 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 It's all about maintaining, not burning ourselves out, but just, yeah, it's all saving everything for us. Fighting. Oh, my goodness. Well, before, before fight week, how many times did you say you come in the morning and then come in the evening? Yeah, so before fight week, I'll come in the morning, I'll do something in the evening. So that's how it is. Also, like, you, like it's the same thing. Like, the first five minutes of like, a football game, yeah. you don't feel 100%. Yeah. You have to get up to the speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it just starts flowing. Yeah. Insurance, have you got insurance on it? Got to move your head, that's what. I asked for a body shot, not a chin shot. Have you seen have you seen him come on since you, you kind of you picked him up and then I'm with him a lot, you know. I'm with him a lot even even when uh, I don't like to burn him out. I encourage him to, to rest when he ain't got a lot on. But um, I can't help doing a little bit with the likes of Richard Reactpool because he's willing to learn and he's got that punching power and he's a very, very quick learner. Very quick learner, I mean. Yeah, I, I, f I feel like more refining him and, mm. and educating him in how to fight certain builds. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's been interesting to work with, for sure. One of me, one of me uh, most interesting so far. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. We're about, what, on the 19th British title fight. Is how, much, how much influence does he have on, on sparring partners? How many rounds he's sparring? Is yeah. that all down to you? No, uh, we, we work well together, to tell the truth. We, uh, I've been around it a long while, so Richard, and I feel Richard trusts me, my, my, uh, my judgment on mm. when uh, we might have 12 rounds in mind or 10 rounds in mind, but looking at it and perform, I might go, well, hold up, let's call it six today. We won't, you know what I mean? We, yeah. it's, it's about peaking, you know what I mean? So I think Richard, uh, I think I can say he trusts me in that department, yeah. Talk about the Richard's opponent. Jack Massey, so you, what, what yeah. do you know about him? What, what's he going to bring to the table? What are you working on in camp? Yeah, Jack's a serious. He's a serious fighter. He's a he's an upright boxer. He's a he's got a good training team behind him. It's a serious fight for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Reactpour is a very, very serious inside fighter. Yeah. yeah. He needs updating on the outside. Yeah. yeah he knows how he's done the outside. It's, very, it's, it's normally the other way round. Yeah. So, so we've been doing that, and uh, he's going to be a, he's an all-rounder. Richard Reactpour, two more fights time, he's going to be an all-rounder, and he's going to be up there with them all. Give you my word. work on combinations but what I like to do with Richard is uh, more or less work on everything yeah. so they get better and better so you know because and now what I just said there he's looking more uh, it's a pleasure to watch because he's not he don't look so raw yeah. you know than, than, than he used to he's looking more natural where you go you know what I'm saying yeah he's looking more comfortable doing what he's doing
to relax and you have to very relax. Okay. So you have two rounds on each side, so you move backwards. First time yeah. he cracked me. I can always say I took Richie Rogers. <laughs> right <hand. laughs> sure, yeah. I just touched you a little bit. Was it left or right? It was probably both because I touched, just touched you a little bit. Well, I think they're getting it? rid of me. I'm, I'm just trying to get rid of me, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look nice. I like them. Love them. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I like them. I've always liked them. They're knackers. Yeah. Richard, listen, we're in the Peacock Gym Cafe, the restaurant, Michelin yeah. starred business. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. I know. <laughs> Talk to me about food wise, like you're, you're a cruiserweight, but you're a big guy. Yeah. What's your like usual fight week? Well, not fight week, just camp diet. Camp diet, you know what? I I mix it up. I, I like to have I like to have predominantly grilled food. Yeah, yeah. Um, fish. I don't I don't eat red meat. And I don't eat chicken. A bit random. What? Yeah, it's random. So you're a pescatarian? I'm a pescatarian. But I like to call my, I like to refer to myself as a flexitarian. Fle okay. Because I'm always flexing. <laughs> wow, yeah, Flex you know what I mean? The protein in there. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, um, that's it pretty, pretty much. Yeah. I have to stay away from the African foods. Too oily. Too much, too much rice, too, too much oil. Yeah, it's too much, too oily. But I do have some now, every now and again. Yeah, yeah. And that's where the power, the power of the strength comes from, of yeah. course. The pound of yeah. yam. That's a secret, though. The agusi soup. Yeah. Is, this, is this what you're munching? The agusi there. Everything, man. <laughs> Everything. So. Do you have to, like, do you have to minimize portions? How many times do you eat in a day, like, to stay? I eat what I want. Yeah? I eat in the morning. I eat really late. There's no limit with me. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of blessed with genetics. Like, yeah. but I could just, it just burns off. As, as soon as I step into the gym, I just bust the sweat quickly. It just burns off quick. You, you've had a good year, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just talk about some of your, I guess, the, the guys in your division, mm -hmm. especially British boxing is booming. You've got a Coley, he's got a, a, a order for a world title yeah. sure, at, at Glowacki. So, do you, do you see that and does that push you forward? Do you see that fight happening in the near future? Yeah, you know, you know what's funny? I remember saying to my close friends that they asked me, they asked me, do you think Lawrence Coley would um, win a world title? And I said, yes. Because I've known Nicole for a long time as well, you know, even before we turned pro. And they were like, are you taking a, are you taking a piss? Like, I'm like, no, I'm being serious. Like, there's certain attributes that I see in fighters and I can tell whether they're going to go far or not. Yeah. It's just that simple. And it's just one of them ones I could tell that he was going to go far. Um, disregarding, not disregarding obviously how he looks in, in the ring or anything like that. Might not be friendly to the eye, but listen, he's getting the job done. And when we look back in 10 years from yeah. now, we're going to be like, who was the winner? Who was the loser? Yeah, yeah, who was the winner? Who was the loser? Have a, they have a nice fan friendly style. They, they, they just be listen, like, listen, who got the who won and who lost? That's it. That's all they want to know. You know? And he's getting the job done and he's doing very, very well. He, in fact, he's doing very, um, he's doing better than most like, like highly tired prospects in this country yeah. and even on the world stage. That's the truth, you know? I rate myself, I put myself in that bracket as well, you know, because I just I just um, stepped out of uni and jumped in the ring yeah. and started winning titles, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't happen <laughs> you know to everybody. I'm saying? It don't happen to everybody, yeah. but like, that's that's what it is. And I'm going against people that have been boxing since they were kids. That I, just, yeah. listen, I came off the streets into the boxing gym at, what, 19, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, still, I'm literally still learning. That's why you hear Mark was telling me that, work on this, work on this. But the thing is, it's my willingness to learn. That's what separates me from everybody else. You've got Jack Massey coming up. Yeah. 19th. How you feeling? You feeling good? You know, you look sharp in that ring. Yeah, like, you know what? Like, um, I respect Massey, you know, as a fighter. Jumps Thank in the ring. Any, anybody that steps in the ring, I, I respect them. Um, everybody has different um, drives. If you would. And I have my own drive, I think, you know, that's what kind of separates me from the rest of these fighters. Um, I'm not, not overlooking Jack Massey at yeah. all. 
at all in any regard. I just I believe I'm a, be a better fighter. I've had uh, have a nice one. I've had um, more experience yeah. in the ring, but you know that don't mean nothing. You know I don't look I don't I don't look back and think about all that stuff. I think about what's ahead of me, ahead of me and what I need to do to to win. I want to learn. I want to learn in that ring. I want to build my experience up. You know, I think that's so important because a lot of these fighters they get they get stepped up too, too early, yeah. too early. And you know what? I, I promise you, there's no there's no price on experience. There's no price. You can't buy it. And that's what I learned from jumping in the ring in Manchester over a year ago against Sam Hyde. I'm yeah. thinking, wow, what the f where, what is going on? What is going on? Yeah. Like I'm looking I look back now and think flipping out, like I didn't know what I was doing yeah. at all. Like I'm talking about I'll just it's almost like trying your luck. Yeah. Like, just throwing your hands and seeing how it goes. But I learned so much in that fight. Like I, I start to understand the yeah. game, you know, understand the game of boxing, understand the concept of boxing, you know, and we need to carry on learning, we need to continue to learn. I've only had 10 fights, I'm still a nov novice, pretty much, but I'm ahead of, of my class because of the fights that I've had. Yeah. Now I've, I've had that type of experience that I'm bringing in to different fights. That's why I'm cool, that's why I'm calm. Because I know what to expect, I know where it is. I know how it is, that's it, literally. I know how it is to fight an undefeated fighter, so, with that, somebody with that stubbornness. I know how to break them down and defeat them. You know, I've been there, I've done it. You know, so that gives me that confidence, and I'm still learning. I'm still learning because I wanna, I wanna win a world title, you know? and I believe I will. But I wanna make sure that I'm ready. Yeah, I was and gonna say 2020 plans. Yeah, listen, there's 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 a there's a lot of plans, but listen, I live I live in the I, I live in the now. Yeah, yeah. I live in the now. I don't look ahead. I don't look ahead too much because I think that's dangerous. And you know, it's it could be it's like it's it's like illusion. Like it's not here yet. But what's here today is this sandwich. Yeah. I can Cook see it. It's Michelin star. Five <laughs> <laughs> like star. Whole wheat roasted rye bread. <laughs> Free range eggs. All kinds. Of the avocado has just disappeared somewhere. I don't know. But listen, this is in front of me. I can see it. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna eat. Yeah. I'm not gonna think about the Novikov and the yeah. and the, the Nobu because I can't see it. I'm not there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But until we get there, I'm gonna eat this. You know? Until yeah. we get there, I'm gonna eat this and then focus on this. Yeah. You know, and that's that's been my mindset. And I think that's kept me in the now, kept me in the present and kept me progressing. Because it's all about learning and bringing your experience into the ring For sure. when the time is right. You know, imagine getting pushed into a flipping world title fight. Yeah. You're thinking, yep, yeah, I knocked out, you know, so-and-so, I'm ready. Next thing you know, you go in there and you see the different levels. Yeah. You see the, the different way they they react when you throw punches at them. How how they compose themselves into them. Listen, this is, no, I'm this, not been here I've before, never I've never been here. Yeah. I've never been here before. Like this is so different to what I've expected and you know, and you realise that, you know, this is a bit too early for me. All right, bro, we've had a little taste of the Pico's kitchen, but I think we need to go for food. Yeah, get, get some proper food. Get yeah. some proper grub, yeah. Okay, then. Had, it, had anywhere in mind? Or? You know what, I'll let you have this. Uh, cool, let's do this. Pasta with uh, mixed leaves as the, as the base, please. I love Nando's. Nando's is the, like the, one of the safest meals. I like Vapiano's as well, but it depends on the chef. If the chef is good. You know what, my, what I like to say is, is the food made with love. When the food is made with love, you can taste the difference, you know, literally. And um, you can go into certain restaurants, you can just tell like, they didn't care man, when they made this. They probably had a bad day or something. I kind of find it hard sometimes to get some clean foods, so what I normally do, I just go and um, I make some salmon, I, I buy sea bass and, and I just cook it myself. And I know what I'm putting in the food. I know it's clean. I know it's going in my body and it's a great feeling. You know, so. Cause sometimes it's difficult you know, when you're looking for, when you're looking for somewhere to, to eat, it's, it's difficult, it's hard, it's like. 
Yes, my guy. Love, bro. Listen, it was great. Great seeing you spending the day. In it, day in the life. I'll see ya. Got, got a little gift for you. Oh, hey, come on. Get what you pay for, like a little uh, planner, daily planner. Yeah. You know. Serious. This is how. This is this is what it takes. The mentality to be a champ. I'm telling you, man. I think it's important just to kind of set yourself goals and accomplish them during the day. Yeah, yeah. And you can kind of kick yourself if you're not getting things done. It's, it's really good. It's really good. It's a little Use Christmas yeah, present for this, you. Bro. This is me. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't get you anything, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man, that's out, cool. Yeah? Love, bro, appreciate that. <laughs>